happy Monday, happy June 1st. In the month of May, my channel got 50,000 views. Just a little over 50,000 and that was my goal. In the previous month, I think I got 46,000 views. And then prior to that, I wanna say 38,000, so I wanted to get 50 the month of May, so. If you hung out on my channel during this stay at home era, I appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, feel free to stop by. I like seeing new people in the comments. I respond to all my comments. I'm like your online car guy friend. I just like talking about cars. One of my friends asked me, what's your next car gonna be for your YouTube channel? And if this year goes according to plan, it might not be next year, but maybe next, next year, I wanna get a Nissan Leaf. Why a Nissan Leaf? That's so unlike you. Well, I got a Z06. My Abarth is my daily driver. I got this V10 van for road trips. I wanna try something different. I like cars, I really do. And a Nissan Leaf is very anti what I'm into actually. But the reason why I'm intrigued by Nissan Leafs is because they're super cheap in the used market. You could get a good one for five or $6,000 and not buying fuel is intriguing to me. This van is my road trip rig and I want my Abarth to last forever because my plan is when my sister has a kid, I wanna give my sister's kid my Abarth, but I don't think that car is very durable. It's at 50,000 miles right now. And I wanna keep as low miles on it as I can. And then my Z06, that's my dream car. I'm gonna start driving it more though. I'm gonna get a new radiator installed in it. I, I've owned that car for five years now. I have no idea how old the radiator is, so it's about time I change the radiator. The most common failure in automobiles is cooling, whether it be the hose blowing up or the radiator blowing up. So I'm gonna replace the radiator in my Z06 and start driving it a little more. It needs new tires too. That's why you don't see many videos on it. It has ball tires right now, and that's not very safe. So if you hung out here during this new era, I appreciate it. It helps my channel out a lot. Like I said, stop by in the comments. I like seeing new people. I like your feedback. I like talking about cars in the comments. If you're just stopping by and you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you a thing to subscribe. Headed to work right now. I found a long way. I used to take the other way to work, but I had no idea I could get to my job. It kind of adds a little miles to my drive, but it's pure freeway, which is good. This van does not like stop and go. So when I take the long way, it's about 90% freeway, maybe even 95% freeway and only five, 10% stop and go. If I take the shorter way, there's a lot more stoplights. And this van likes pure freeway, gotten as high as 18.4 MPG. And my personal best on my road trip that includes mountain cross is 17.5. And that's not bad for a V10 van. My hours at work are picking up again, which makes me happy. One of you asked me, are you gonna get a lift kit for this van like you did with your last one? That's what I look forward to the most. This van has way more power and it's nicer than my last van. I started off with a van that was much nicer than my last one with way more power. So this is gonna be a lot of fun and it's gonna look really cool once I get the lift kit on this. I daydream about it all the time and now I could daydream about it more since my hours are picking up again. That's my parking OCD spot right there. I'm waiting for Johnny. Johnny's part cool. <laughs> like me. Daily driving my van right now because I'm waiting for parts for my Abarth oil filter cap, oil filter, uh, battery blanket, 
and I'm waiting for the blow-off valve. I'm getting an actual blow-off valve for that car. My number one rated videos for the past two years have been my fake blow-off valve videos. People just like like fake blow-off valve videos so I'll do more fake blow-off valve videos and then I'll compare it to what a real one sounds like so daily driving my van right now the a -Borth needs an oil change so I'm waiting for the blow-off valve that's why I haven't changed the oil yet might as well do both and then it needs a new battery so here's a battery blanket so that's the plan for this channel